Let's see how to draw a shear force and bending moment diagram if a loaded beam is given. This is the beam for which we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. This beam is of 5 meter length and end A we have a fixed support and end B is a free end. Regarding the applied loading we have two point loads and one UDL which is acting over a span of 2 meter here. Our first step is to draw the free body diagram. For this we have to replace the support with the corresponding reactions acting over the support. At end A we have a fixed support and we know the fixed support restricts three types of movement. Since it restricts horizontal movement, we will have a horizontal reaction. Let us name it as HA. Since it restricts vertical movement, we will have a vertical reaction. Let us name it as VA. And also, since it restricts rotation, we will have a reaction moment here. Let us name it as M. Since B is a free end, we won't be having any reaction here. So this is the free body diagram of the given beam. Here we have three unknown reactions. For any further calculation, we would require the values of these unknowns. We have three equilibrium conditions that can be applied here to get the values of these three. The first one is algebraic sum of the horizontal forces acting on the beam will be equal to 0 that is we can write it as sigma h equal to 0 and the second one is algebraic sum of the vertical forces acting on the beam is equal to 0 we can write it as sigma v equal to 0 and moment acting on any point of the beam will be equal to 0 we can consider any point on the beam Let's consider the point A. So, M A equal to 0. So, coming to the first one, sigma H equal to 0. So, you can see there is only one horizontal reaction acting on this B. So, that will be equal to 0. We can say H A equal to 0. And vertical forces, we have one upward force here and three downward forces. So, we can write total upward force equal to total downward forces. Va equal to these two point loads 4 plus 2 plus next is the UDL. So, this UDL we have to consider as a load of magnitude 1 into that is load intensity into the span over which it is acting. So, we can take it as 1 into 2. So, we will get VA equal to 8 kilo Newton. Now, we can consider the moment about point A. Before starting the calculation, the sign convention adopted here is clockwise is uh, taken as positive and anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. Since HA and VA passes through the point A, these forces will not create any moment about A. Now, we have a reaction moment MA here which is uh, clockwise. So, we can take it as positive MA. This point load 4 kN will create a clockwise moment of 4 into 1 plus we can write 4 into 1 and this point load 2 kilo newton will again create a clockwise moment of 2 into 5 from here to here it is 5 meter so you can write 2 into 5 now the remaining one is the UDL. So for calculating moment, we, ha we have to consider this UDL as a point load acting at the center of its span. So 
so let's take it as a point load of magnitude 1 into 2 that is 2 kilonewton from here to here it is 1 meter at the center of the span over which it is acting so from the distance from the point A to this point is 3.5 this will be 2 into 3.5 so this will be equal to 0 now we can write m a equal to minus 4 minus 10 minus 7 equal to minus 21 kilonewton meter the values of unknown reactions are h a equal to 0 b a equal to 8 kilonewton and m a equal to minus 21 kilonewton meter now we can mark these values in the free body diagram here h a equal to 0 so no need to mark this and the value of v a is 8 kilonewton and since it is positive our assumed direction is correct so we have an upward vertical reaction of 8 kilonewton and the value of m a is minus 21 kilonewton meter and here we have assumed a clockwise direction so since it is minus we have to mark it as anti clockwise moment Based on this diagram, we can calculate the shear force and bending moments along the length of the beam that we can see in the next part.